Hey guys, um, I know I haven't been here for a while, but um, I just wanted to come with you with a things you'll need for college thing on today's Monday. On Friday, I'm moving into my dorm, and as most of you know, I'm going to UWF, so I'm really excited, and I just wanted to um, share with you guys some things you'll need or some things that I'm bringing that um, you, will, you may or may not need or want to need. Now, this is more going to be for my girlies, and not so much guys. I don't really know what guys need to bring, but um, this is just going to be, like, a really simple, I'm going to try and be quick thing for um, just simple ideas that you can do and simple things you need to bring for college. So, to begin, um, my room is a mess. I'm packing for college, and it's just been so hectic with work and everything. But one of the first things I'm going to tell all my girlies to bring is their hair products, their makeup, and their accessories. Because those are going to be the things that you miss the most if you don't have them. Um, like last year, there were like some necklaces I left, or like some earrings, or even just like a certain curling iron. I just say to be safe, bring it all with you. You never know what you're going to be doing, who you're going to be hanging out with, if you're going to end up going on a date, or anything like that. And I just feel like just be safe and bring it all. Because you wouldn't believe what gets lost in the shuffle when you're packing and what you forget to bring. Um, and just like how I store it is, excuse my room guys, it's a total mess. Is I have this pink bin here. And like my first drawer just stores my hair stuff, my flat irons, my curling irons, anything like that. My blow dryer, um, my combs and brushes, all that stuff. And my little hair accessories, headbands and whatnot. And then my second drawer, oh my gosh, it's so stuffed. It's my makeup drawer. This is my Hello Kitty palette. I have all my palettes on this side. And then I have my brushes, my eyeliners, my lip glosses, my um, powders, and anything like that. So that's all the beauty stuff. And then on the bottom here, I have, put this out here. I have all my lotion sprays and body wash and just like some candles. But like, just anything like this, all the Bath and Body Works stuff, perfumes. I have about like a thousand perfumes in here. And this is just like a really easy way to store it. So that's for like my girlies. That's the stuff I would tell you guys like, okay, you should definitely bring that. And that's a really easy way to store it. And I got that from Walmart and it was only like $16. So it was a really good deal. Now, other things I'll make sure all my girly girls bring tons of pillows um setting up your room you really want to make it your own and you want to make it feel like you live there i like to make my room feel like i'm at home and like i literally like my parents are downstairs because i like to feel comfortable so i bring like a ton of pillows that match my bed i like to decorate like them or i like to make cute pillows just really simple ones and i like to like make them go with the decor of my room plus when i go to sleep i love being able just to lay down and be surrounded by pillows so i don't feel alone lame i know but it actually really helps and um it's actually really comfortable um and what else i would just say to bring is your clothes i would say if you're really good at knowing what you're going to wear and what you're not going to wear, then okay, just pick out whatever clothes you want. But as for me, I never really know what I'm going to be doing, so I just like to bring it all. So I've literally brought, like, all my clothes, like, all of them. And that's about, like, four, four or technically, like, five suitcases of clothes. But I absolutely feel like I need them and <laughs> I can't, like, depart from them. So I like to bring on my clothes. And then just a few little knickknacks I want to show you guys that you can do to you spice up your room. One of them I really love is if you guys watch Andrea's Choice. She does amazing DUIs. I made this frame and I just think it's so cute. It's just like a vintage frame with a mirror in the middle. Now what I didn't do that she did is spray paint the middle with black chalkboard spray paint so you can write on it. I just never got around to it, but I think I actually like it as a mirror. So I kind of just kept it that way, but I spray painted the frame white, and it just looks so classy and more modern and cute. And my room theme is black, white, and purple, so it goes perfectly. And then 
just some things I got from Kirkland's that were on sale are like this little paper pencil like thing that you can put like anything in it. I don't really know what I'm going to put in it, but I thought it was cute and it's going to make my room pop. I also got this one, which is like a magazine holder, but I'll probably use it to hold like my folders, notebooks, because I'm a journalism major, so I have tons of folders and notebooks for days. And then the matching bin is right here, and this I'll probably just throw my papers in. Like one of, I already started throwing papers in here. Like these are my AP scores, things that like you may or may not need for college. You never really know. Um, I may throw headphones in here. I may throw. I don't know. It's just a good collect all box that I can kind of just like toss anywhere and it matches my room. So although it may be messy on the inside, it just makes your room look clean and soft and whatever like that. And then one thing I want to show you guys that maybe like throw you off a little bit is going to be something that I kind of had an idea for and I actually love it and it's these apothecary jars. And I know that they're glass, and I'm in college, and things happen, but these actually ended up me being able to use them in a way that, like, I never actually thought. So, it came in a set of three. It was only $20, and one of the first ones, it's, like, this really cute shaped jar, and this one I literally just filled with earrings. And, like, whatever studs I had, I just put them on this. And I'm going to figure out how to um, put them away later. But I put them on here or here. And the rest are full of just, like, really big earrings or necklaces. And it's just going to add, like, a little pop to my room. So that was the first one. And then the second one I use, it's a bigger jar. Excuse the paper. And I use it for, like, lip glosses. And I feel like lip glosses, a lot of you will be like, oh, why don't you keep it with my makeup? And I just feel like it's because you always need lip gloss. And I think it's really easy to just go and, like, pick up a lip gloss. And then to, like, go through my makeup drawer, find what lip gloss. I'd rather just have it, like, sitting on my desk and be able for me to reach. So I really like that one. And then the last one, it's a little shorter than the other one. I filled up with all my bracelets. And so it's just really easy to access. I don't mind dumping and grabbing. Uh, from some people, it may be inconvenient, but I just think it'll just add to the room. It'll make it look more homey, more elegant, and it's just really something that caught my eye. But for the most part, that's going to be it. Um, I'm not really going to go through anything. I just wanted to do a quick high, quick college packing and accessory thing. And um, I move in Friday morning, so sometime Friday afternoon, I'm going to film a dorm room tour and show you guys how I decorated it. And hopefully it comes out great. I have this idea in my head, and hopefully it looks how I think it is. But I hope you guys are all doing or having fun packing up for college, whether it's your first year, second year, last year as a senior. I hope you're excited. I'm so excited to go back. So um, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.